Hey guys, Ash here from c 4 Tech, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to get the Google Experience Launcher onto any Android device. So depending on whether your device actually supports it, you can even get voice activated Google Now. Say for example, uh, the Galaxy Note 3 N9005 with the Snapdragon 800 chipset does support it. So, okay Google, make me a sandwich. What? Make it yourself. So I can get uh, Google Now uh, working, voice, uh, voice activated Google Now working here. So it's pretty simple. You don't need to be rooted or anything. You can get it done on pretty much any device. So just go into settings uh, and application, I'm mean, sorry, security. Just make sure that unknown sources is enabled. All right. So to get this working on your phone, uh, you just need to download two files. You can find these two files in the download section in the description under links 1 and 2. So download them and transfer them to the internal or external storage of any device that you have. And once you've done that, open up your file manager of choice. I use ES File Explorer. So open it up and head on over to your SD card and wherever it is that you've downloaded these two files. So I have them in a folder called GEL, short for Google Experience Launcher and just install these two files. Hit install. Done. Now go back to Google search and install it as well. done so once you've installed it just hit the home button and you will get an option uh, of choosing whatever launcher you already have and a normal launcher so just select this hit always and now you're into the Google experience launcher so so once you have this installed quickly go into settings and make sure Google now is activated and under voice make sure it's set to default English US this is necessary for it to detect uh, your okay google commands so uh, it might not work with every device as far as the uh, voice recognition goes anyway try it out let me know if it works with your device so that's pretty much it if you want to go back uh, if you want to go back to using a standard launcher again go into settings uh, applications manager if it's a different phone you will have something that says apps so go into that all uh, all processes and do not uh, the difference here is you will not be clearing the launcher itself you'll have to find Google search go into Google search and clear defaults okay because the uh, Google experience launcher is part of Google now so that is what that is where you need to clear defaults and now you get your you again get uh, the choices to choose whatever launcher you want so I'm gonna continue using the Google experience launcher so that's pretty much it guys, it's pretty simple. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because I'll be coming out with more videos pretty soon. So once again guys, thanks a lot for watching and uh, I'll see you guys soon in the next one. Till then, this is Ashia from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye bye now.